Welcome back to the channel. One of the biggest surprises for myself from this past week's Nintendo Direct was something that was slipped in for just a little bit of the broadcast. That being the return of Power Pros to North America. The Power Pro series has been an ongoing baseball series in Japan from Konami since the days of Super Famicom. But you might remember when it first came to the States back in the Wii and PS2 era of gaming. Yes, it first came to the States combined with the MLB license as MLB Power Pros for the PS2 and Wii and was followed up with a sequel in 2008 for the same systems and the DS. Let me tell you, MLB Power Bros was one of my most played games for the Wii. I invested a lot of time into that game. It had a lot of good things going for it. First of all, the pickup and play mechanics are easy to learn. It's a bit arcade-like, but you can customize the difficulty to what you desire, but it was also packed to the brim with content, including the famed series success mode that combines RPG and visual novel gameplay with baseball play that allows you to take a player from college life to the major leagues. This was on top of all the other game modes, including a season mode, tournament play, and all that goodness. As great as that game was and its sequel, here in North America, we haven't seen any more games come to the stateside until now. Yes, a new game in the series is finally out for English audiences. Konami has released WBSC eBaseball Power Pros for the Switch and PS4. What a time to be alive. Oh, and best of all, it's for 99 cents. Yes, only 99 freaking cents. What an incredible deal. So what does 99 cents get ya? Well, admittedly and understandably, it doesn't include features like the famous success or career modes here. What we get here is a much more stripped down experience, but there's still plenty to enjoy for the price. First of all, there's the championship mode that allows you to play the game against other players from around the globe. Yes, this does have online play, and that is the major feature of this game. In addition, there's our offline mode, versus play, which is basically a one-off game that allows you to play against another player, or the computer, or even watch the computer play against itself. Finally, there's tournament play, which you can play in either a league or elimination tournament format. In versus and tournament play, you can play with up to four players on the same system, and you can also play via local wireless play. Beyond the three main modes, there is a practice mode to brush up your skills. You can also check the player stats that allows you to check up on the stats and abilities of every player in the game. Now, there is no way to create custom characters at this time like the main games, but there seems to be a good number of existing characters to work with. Finally, there's custom team that allows you to create teams with the pre-existing characters. So yeah, for 99 cents, it doesn't feature nearly the amount of stuff that the main series in Japan has. But again, 99 cents, the fact that you can play online and create teams and have fun offline as well. Hey, I was sold. From what I played so far, the gameplay is awesome. It's easy to understand, but you can also customize it to your needs. In settings, you can create custom setting profiles to adjust the game the settings, and other effects, but you can also adjust the batting, pitching, and fielding styles to your liking, either through pre-made selections or through more detailed selections. Heck, you can even automate aspects of the game if you want, and of course, you can customize the CPU abilities to your liking as well. There's a lot in those settings, and I encourage you to check that out and adjust it to what you like if you decide to pick up the game. If you like baseball, or even just like baseball a little bit, I think you need to throw 99 cents and pick it up. For that price, it's worth it, hands down. I know I just did a dollar and under eShop video a few weeks back, and you should definitely check that one out if you haven't. But let me tell you this, this would be the best one on the list in my view if it came out earlier on the eShop. Holy cow. 
I am loving this for the price. And even though it's lacking the many modes the main Power Pro games have, this is a nice test to see if the series should come over proper without the MLB license. And no surprise here, I most certainly think it should. Now before I go, there's a couple tips I have for you that it seems some players aren't aware of, at least from what I'm seeing online. Of course, the first one being the settings that I talked about earlier in the video. Make sure to dive into that and check that out. It's quite detailed. The second tip that some seem to be sleeping on is the sound option on the main menu. Certain sounds and effects are turned off by default. One being the commentary. I guess being a Japanese game translated for English audiences, they must have figured that English audiences didn't want to hear the Japanese commentary or whatever. But I say make sure to turn everything on as it does make the game sound much more lively and energetic than without it. Finally, there's different fields to choose from. It seems like a lot only think there's one in the game because it tends to default to that one field, but there's more. You'll see the option for it in the confirm lineup menu in Versus and in the sub menu for each game in tournament. There are seven parks to choose from and you can even adjust the time of game and the weather. Anyway, that's some quick thoughts I have. A pretty quick review of WBSC eBaseball Power Pros. I've been loving it on the Switch, but it is also available for the PS4 as well. So consider picking it up for your console of choice. Hopefully, this game gets a good response and Konami decides to finally bring over the main series to the States. That would be amazing. But for now, that is all I have for today. I got some homers to go hit. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you next time.